Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fennell. This is Chris Beacon, Steve Fennell Channel. I'm going to show you a little filter I'm putting on this. You can stop it and check it out. Um, that's all I did with it. And I'm going to show you this. I did it across, I think, four skies. And um, I'm just going to dig stuff out, all right? So watch what I do. And the filter is a saturation and stuff just to bring out the colors. These are the natural colors that are in the sky. You do get a little hazy looking pixelation, but you know, to do what I'm doing, you got to get that. So check it out. So now as we go along here, I'm going to freeze frame. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to point stuff out. And I might even use the forensic tool on some of the objects I see. Um, so just keep watching. And uh, one of the main things I want to show you is that we're looking from the southeast to start out. And I go over it a couple times. And then we go to the south. And same sun coming up in the next frames is southeast. Or south. And watch how the sun comes up. <clears throat> kind of hangs right on the horizon. Continues south. And like you'll see right here in south. And these towns are like 100, a couple hundred miles away from each other. Okay, now I wasn't looking for any UFOs, so I already seen two. But watch how it just starts out. There's all kinds of things I'm going to point out here, guys. And it just keeps going across the horizon on the south to the southwest and it sets. So then I'm going to point some stuff out, okay? So enjoy. God bless. If I don't talk to you now, I'll talk to you later on the other side or on the other video. Talk to you in a bit. Now also remember, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the original footage, okay? And it's going to be time lapse like this, but a little bit faster. Alrighty. Now when I did the filter on this, I did all the filter exactly the same. These are all cams in the same area. My question is, see how dark this one came out? Um, just the way the cloud formation is but it's incredible how much red there is in the sky see all the saturation and the gamma and all that I did to it it just brings it all out and it doesn't change the actual colors it just brings the colors that are there out so you look at this you see how much more red is in this sunrise facing south a lot of white spots on the clouds I don't know what they are but <clears throat> You could speculate on a lot of things, but the right on the right of us, that red planet keeps going by.
things are straight up tripping, boo. Check that UFO out. My God, help us. So here we go. Here's the original footage. No filter, no nothing. It's just uh, the same speed time lapse and the same cuts in it. Okay, and I'm gonna actually do some of the forensic uh, tool on that one cloud. So thanks for stopping by, guys. If you haven't signed up to my channel, it just gets stranger by the day. I will show everything I find in the sky. If I see Texas cubes and boxes, you know, UFOs, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go after all of it, guys. Just go for it. The truth is the truth, right? Jesus is the Lord, Savior of my life. And I'm here to tell you that he loves you today. God bless. You can see that second sign. You can see it, even in time lapse. This is the one that was really red right here. See how much that filter brings out the real red that's in it. But I'm gonna try to clip some of that, do forensic on it. God bless. So guys, I want to ask you to help me by sharing this video. Uh, this is all new stuff for me, this UFO stuff. So if you can get me in the mainstream of UFO, that'd be good. Also, um, people that don't believe in UFOs, I didn't either six months ago, but I'm catching them. I think in this video alone, I counted like 37 of them. But anyways, uh, this little tool of Roger Paul gave me from the Roger Paul channel is really helping a lot. So share the video. Make sure your subscriber bell is ring for notification and uh, join my Coffee TV channel as soon as you can because I'm going to start throwing stuff up there, okay? I have a year and a half of footage to show you.
I'm liking doing this UFO thing on these clouds so much that I'm gonna go to my Ka Fi channel. It's called Ka Dash Fi TV. C A Dash F I T V. One word. Uh, or two words, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'll put a link and I'm gonna start doing these videos more often because there's so much stuff in the skies. You know, and I'm still gonna show you Nibiru and Planet X on this channel more than the UFOs, but if I come up with a good UFO one, I'll always put a link at the end of the Ka-Fi channel. So, anyways, uh, if you haven't heard about the Ka-Fi channel, I'll leave some kind of description, and I'm gonna start putting a lot more of these videos, just, and I could use, I'm gonna use regular music, music that you're familiar with, more popular, you know, famous tunes, because I don't care about the copyright, because I'm starting a new channel, I got like 60 subscribers, I like to go to 6,000, I haven't really did a lot of work on it, but right here, see these, this cloning device shows me the, where there's UFOs and then I go look for them because it clones anything that's exactly alike. Um, watch this when I do it. So now, I'm on the hunt for these two that I've seen. There's, the, there's, the, there's that sun, the second sun, remember? Look at that. Now I'll show you that a little bit more intense color, okay? So this, this little tool is fun and I'm going to use it on the other channel more so. I'll use it on this channel also, but I'm going to use it on the other channel like every day too. There you go. There's that planet. It's round. It's not just a, a little flicker of the sun from the left there, or the sun simulator. Anyway, so keep watching my crazy stuff. It's just going to get more and more interesting. Um, it's definitely turned up to a new level. Huh? God bless people. See you at the next video.